Hi guys, in this video we're going to use funnel automations to send emails right out of Funnelish. So first you're going to want to head to one of your funnels and go to funnel automations. Create a new automation and select what you if you want to start from scratch or choose a template and add your trigger. I'm going to do on purchases on my whole funnel and I only want it once per customer. All right, so now we're gonna go over here when we add a new action, go to sending options. And to do this, you wanna make sure you have at least one of your um, email sending tools connected, whether it was Mailgun, uh, SendGrid, or your own. You can here either send an email, this will go to your customer, or you can send a notification email. So I'm gonna click send an email, and first I'm gonna do a text only. Here you type your name or brand name, your email, and use the domain that is connected already. And now you can type your email here. You can use custom fields to personalize it. You can have contact details or order details. So I will add their name. You can make anything bold, change the fonts, change the size, anything like that. And when you're done, just click create. So now I'll show you how to do a templated email. So go back to sending options, send an email. Now you can select template. You wanna have that same information here. And now you can either build from scratch or choose a template that's already there. I'll choose a template here. Now this will be a drag and drop editor. You can definitely customize a lot more the design here. Um, so you can go ahead and drag anything anywhere you like. You can customize the shape, size, what happens when they click the button, or any of these other actions you see here. You can change the name. You can see what it looks like on different devices. You can send a test, you can preview, and do all other sorts of things. So this is good if you want to have nice branded emails that you can have look the same every time. Go ahead and customize that as much as you want. And last but not least, we have a notification email. This is if you want to tell you or somebody on your team once somebody gets to this point. So let's say this is on a... Um, it starts with a purchase. So let's say I want to tell myself every time there's a purchase. So once there is a new purchase and let's say one of these emails gets sent first, I will get an email saying that somebody has reached this point and I'll know somebody has made that purchase. Now make sure whenever you're done with all of this, you just switch your automation to active and there you go.